Good to see your face again. Yours too. Lalea is the daughter of Kifisos, god of this spring. It's said that she lives in these pools. Thea, right? Perictioni told me you've been acting as general. Though from what I saw earlier, you and your sister don't see eye to eye. Perry would die folded in prayer before she asked for my advice. Sometimes we want a comforting voice that says everything will be okay, rather than to be confronted with harsh reality. And now we are on the knife's edge waiting for the slaughter and we have done nothing. I must prepare myself to fight and hopefully the others too. Can you teach me? Your sister says you act like a general. Let's see if you fight like one. I'm ready. What the? <sighs> well, that was humbling. The sons of Xerxes won't be as kind. No, it's a good wake-up call. One I wish Perry could have. But big sister always knows best. Sounds like she's always given you a hard time. <laughs> you could say that. Acting like the hero while I do the dirty work. Now you have the eagle bearer on your side. Then you'll be the Perseus to my Andromeda. I seem to recall the legend saying that Andromeda was nude and tied to a rock. Was she? I'll have to remember that the next time I'm reenacting the myth. Lalea has a rich heritage for theater, though not so much for fighting. Spartan women are taught to keep up with Spartan men. Lalea seems different. It is an oversight that I've been pushing to correct. When the men leave for war, our defenses are limited to a few hunters too valuable to leave. Or young men who can barely hold a spear. And now that the hunters are dead... We're more exposed to attacks from the sons of Xerxes than ever. We should get back to the task at hand. There's still a lot to do. You're right, but it's hard to know where to start. I need to train the others for war, but we are without weapons and armor. No blacksmith, but his daughter is still here. What about the hunters you lost? We need to train replacements. There's also a camp close by, likely the daughters of Artemis. They are not a friendly bunch, so we've been doing our best to avoid them. I'll get to it. Eagle bear. Good. You can talk some sense into my sister. I've just spoken with the hunting party. They recovered new enemy arrows near the boundaries of the village. Scouts. Likely sent ahead to find weaknesses in Lalea's defenses. Of which there are many. That's what I've been telling Perry! We need to kill those scouts. Even if we do defeat the lion's share of the sons in battle, the scouts will cut our throats as we sleep. If everyone dies in battle, there will be no village left to defend. Agnodiki spoke of enemy weapons caches. If we destroy those, we'll cut the legs off our foes. Why are these scouts such a threat? What if we're away in battle and the scouts return to kill those we've left behind? What did Agnoviki find? She overheard the sons of Xerxes discussing supplies they stole from a nearby fortress and returned to their camp. We need to deal with this now. Which do we focus on? The scouts or the casses? I'll take care of the scouts. The last thing we need is an ambush. If you've chosen wrong, we'll be exposed with nothing to show for it. But if you must go, go now. Are you ready? I'll see you when it's done. What is it that Spartans say about shields? With them or on them? May the gods guide your path and the arc of your sword. Ah. Oh. I hunted them to the last. <sighs> I'll sleep easier knowing that. I still worry about them overcoming our numbers in battle. But thank you. This will change our fate.
warriors are holding them off, but we need reinforcements. As prepared as we're going to be. Go. I'll stay with those who can't fight. Ah, this way! They put a team against the rocks. <gasps> oh. Oh. I'm keeping up. I can't believe we did it. But the cost... Here. This is war. We killed them. How? All I remember was swinging until my arms hurt, then swinging more. If you hadn't killed those scouts, I might have died thinking of them. I'm glad it's over. I may not be a champion of the gods, but it'll take more than a few wounds to fell me. Let's return to Lalea. Over there. Perry! Thea, I'm here. It's okay. It's over. We beat them back. All that's left to do is burn the bodies. You protected my sister and my village. And for that, I'm eternally grateful. We protected each other. I don't know how we can ever repay you. I can think of a few ways I can repay you. Really? You're having this discussion here? In front of your sister and the whole town? Later, then. Gratitude, Mistios. Here is the Drachmi, as promised. You will always be welcome in Lalea. My grandfather died not too far from here. I'm glad he defended this place from the Persians. Cassandra, if you could come see me before you leave, I'll be by the waterfall. And now the work of rebuilding begins. At peace once again. Hmm. And for years to come, thanks to you. I can't promise you peace. But you did give us the tools to preserve it. So, what kind of reward did you have in mind? My first thoughts were of getting you out of those clothes. If that's the first thought, I can't wait to see how the second and third thoughts go. Oh, there won't be much thinking. But there will be seconds and thirds. What will you do now? With everything taken care of, I'm free to do what I want. A list that includes spending more time with you. Come with me, then. I could always use someone who can think and use a sword. You only want me around for my brains and my brawn. Would you prefer I said I wanted you to keep my bed warm? I've lived here my whole life. To leave it... Well, that would be an adventure.